So, I'm here. I'm gonna do what I promised. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. I'm also gonna show you my equipment too. So if you're a fellow artist, I think you'll enjoy this. All right, first things first, here's my room. Okay, nothing crazy. Of course, bed, I got a bunk bed. Yes, I'm 18 years old and I have a bunk bed. Don't bully me, please. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's like, why would you go wider when you can go higher, you know? Kind of like skyscrapers. This is my desk. Uh, pretty simple. I have my PC right here. Uh, I have a TV as my monitor. Uh, sound bar, keyboard. All my remotes are over here. So this remote is for, I have a LED rope light in the back of my desk. I don't have it on at the moment. I have this. This is for this. Check this out. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. And then, this is for my sound bar. This is for my TV. Um, that's for, you know, gotta keep up on the hygiene. Uh, this is a little kickstand for phones. Uh, that's my bag for one of my microphones. Mouse, it's a Harali. You can't even find these anymore, but this is a still. This is actually a really nice mouse. I'll turn the light on for a second. It's got RGB, all that cool stuff. I got this keyboard for free from a family member. It's just got a blue light. It doesn't have RGB, but I don't really use RGB too much. It's definitely better than the keyboard that I had before, so that's what matters. Of course, gotta have the Baby Yoda. Gotta represent Grogu, the GOAT. This is my audio interface. It's a Steinberg UR12. It's got one mic input, and then a guitar cable input. Uh, input gain knobs, of course. Output gain knob. Direct monitoring, and then that's for headphones. This is a blue snowball. I used this when I first started making music. I only use it for when I'm in like Discord calls and things like that. I have two different headphones. So this, this pair of headphones, I use this for editing, like mixing and mastering my music. And then I have another pair of headphones that I use just for recording. And these are Audio-Technica ATH M40Xs, and then the other ones are M20Xs. But yeah, before I would use the M20Xs for everything, for recording, and also mixing and mastering, but I wanted to switch it up because the bigger number you get in the Audio-Technicas, the better they get. And I didn't want to go the M50Xs because they were pretty expensive at the time, but I was able to get the M40Xs for like 80 bucks around the holidays, so I was able to save a little bit of money, and I love those headphones. They are amazing. My audio interface, it's got an XLR cable running through my closet. Keep in mind, I don't have anything very exciting in my closet. It's just a regular closet. Running all the way to this bad boy. This is the best part of my room. I love my booth. So right now, I have my guitar in here. This is a Yamaha Pacifica. There's the name right there. You can see that. And then the mic that I have set up at the moment, this is an MXL V67G. It's a really, really good microphone. I would highly recommend it to any artist that want a good condenser microphone. MXL is a branch of the brand Marshall. Uh, these are just little stands that I have for uh, this little this little moving blanket that I set up behind the booth. So when I stand in it, any noise that's going on back here, so like if somebody drives past my house or anything like that, they got a loud car, it, it blocks it out a little bit. I'm gonna show you my other microphone as well, the Shure SM57, here it is. The Shure SM57, really, really good microphone. I highly recommend it. The reason why I have a condenser microphone and a dynamic for people who don't really know the difference is because a condenser microphone is supposed to pick up a lot more of your voice, but while doing that, it picks up a lot of background noise as well. Now in my booth, I don't really have to worry about background noise too much, but like if I didn't have a treated area, a dynamic microphone would be better for that because dynamic microphones pick up less background noise. My condenser microphone, if I get too loud into it, it'll start clipping and it'll sound bad. But my dynamic microphone, it can take a lot of volume. I can do like really loud, like yell ad libs or any amount of energy that I need to have for a song, it can take it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, my room is pretty simple, 
not too exciting, but I love my room. It's the best creative space that I have. But yeah, with that, I'm gonna end the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And don't worry, I have a lot more music that I'm working on. My schedule this year, I'm releasing one song per month. So expect that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.